be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to make a boom bap type beat and Logic Pro 10 start to finish, okay? So let's go ahead and jump in. First thing I'm gonna do is actually go over here to a MIDI track, okay? We're gonna go under Softer and Instrument and then I'm gonna use the Multi Sampler, okay? To load some drums and stuff like that. Um, I actually already loaded the drums. I don't want to take too much of the video going and finding drums and stuff like that. So I'm just going to show you how you would do it. And then I'm going to go to a preset here. But basically, once you open up this uh, multi sample uh, sampler, you can just kind of click off some of these and just go to um, mapping, click off modular and you can go to zone. And so basically the process would just be simple as this you're just going to drag and drop sounds and just drag them on each of the notes okay and once you do that you can come up here and go to save as and save it you can also come over here once something is in the zone and affect how it sounds it's kind of just like the uh, quick sampler you can make it play as a one shot reverse it follow tempo a whole lot of different things okay that's another tutorial for another time but um, I did want to kind of just highlight what you would need to do again mapping the zone drag and drop the files right on the notes and then you can come over here under zone and edit those files and then come to default preset and do a save as and then I was going to save your um, your kit now I already saved the kit here it's called boom kit right here so I'm just going to open that up and as you can see here like I said we got our zone here one shot and then we got all our samples now I'm using a MIDI keyboard so I'm going to play some of this stuff with this. So basically now that I have my sounds ready to go, the first thing I'm going to do is kind of identify like which kick I'm going to use, which snare I'm going to use. So let's just kind of go through some of these. So I think I'm going to go ahead and like uh, layer the kick with these two. Like but, but, but with these kicks below um, on their own. That sounds good, but it has a knock that I like. And then this one has like a little grit that I like. Okay, and then we're going to use this snare. All right, bet. So. I'm pretty much, I got my drums kind of coordinated, ready to go. Um, from here, I do want to start looking at like creating, either creating a sample or looking at what we have here. You can always just go to over here to your Apple Loops. Like if you don't have any resources as far as out uh, external third party apps or third party ways to get samples, just click this uh, button right over here. I'm not, not this one, click this loop, my bad y'all. And then you can search things through like either genre or instrument genre or descriptor. So I'm gonna go to genre. We'll go with like a jazz vibe here. And if we go with descriptors, we can also come in and like get some stuff going with that as well. Um, so let's just see what we have in here. Let me see. Um, we can do distorted. <laughs> So I kind of like that actually. So I'm gonna take this and drag and drop it right here in the workspace window. And then what we could do is you could hold down option and push up or down to pitch it up or down um, semitones. That's a little bit harder than this one. So I'm gonna actually take this one out. We're gonna go with this Lofty Goals piano. That mug is actually a way harder sample. And 
this is dope because it's actually in MIDI. So I can come in here and edit this if I want. You pull down option, bring it down. All right, cool. So we're going to just work, work with that. And uh, I think I want to go ahead and pitch this maybe up or down. I bet. So I'm not going to docker up this too much more, um, like using the MIDI, but I am going to maybe go in here and add some plugins. And this, the plugins can kind of just make it sound a little bit different. So this is a saturator right here. Let's see what that does to it. Like the saturation but it's adding too many too much like um, pops and clicks to it cool so now that we got the uh, sample a basic sample here I can bounce this in place to turn it into audio so that's what I'm actually gonna do we'll mute that all right bet so now I have um, you know, a sample, and then I can. I have the drum kit up here, so I'm gonna just push Command D to double this drum kit, and I'm gonna do the snare and the kick on two different tracks. Now, obviously, because you know a snare pattern usually just goes like pretty constant. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw that in. Um, if you push P on your keyboard, you can go into the piano roll or the step sequencer. So. Cool. So this is going to actually be where the snare is going to be. Um, and I think we could do it like this. All right, cool. So we got that going with the step sequencer. Usually the step sequencer is pretty good. Like if you just want something simple. Um, now I'm going to go to this one. And again, I'm actually going to just use my MIDI keyboard. I'm going to push uh, Command K just so you can see uh, what I'm pushing here. But So I'm going to hit these two notes and just kind of do like a, a dope little boom bap kick pattern. So I will practice first and then we'll lay it down. So we'll do something like that. Push R here to record. So I kind of played it off a little bit, no problem. We'll just push Command A right here in the grid, and then we'll use our quantization matrix, our matrix to you know put this back in place. And then you can also use like different swings to give it that boom bat vibe. So maybe a swing A might or a swing C might work better. And we're gonna we're gonna 
actually take this down some, like on the um, BPM. Technically, you know, as you can see, um, just getting that boom bat vibe, you just want to add a swing on that kick. You want to also could potentially do it on a snare too. So what we'll do is just go ahead and convert this to MIDI. And then um, I can highlight this and then put the same swing on it. might redo this sample too because I, I kind of don't like how it's taking out the um bypassing this let me just see yeah we're gonna add some more stuff to this i'm gonna also use another plugin um a one knob plugin on this these plugins are pretty dope this one knob series super simple to like say if i want this louder pretty good vibe going on this um let's go ahead and add some more stuff to it like a lot of times you obviously um boom bat beats they have like percussion elements but they're kind of sparse so um i might have to actually bring in some other sounds for this and to, for that we're gonna go with the quick sampler same type of deal here you're just dragging and dropping your sounds in you can manipulate them here and then you just go to the default preset and save and once you do it's all going to pop up right here so super simple i already have some like boom bap stuff that we can use um let me just see where it's at here i'm just really just kind of looking for like a hi-hat you know lo-fi boom bap type, type of same interest instruments for real for real so we're gonna go for this this hi-hat And actually what I'm going to do now is just take this and just like take it down like that. And just so we can just grab this one hi-hat. Um, if I hold down option and zoom in by going, scrolling left to right, you can zoom into your, you know what I'm saying, your sound here. So now if I want to add like a hi-hat pattern, I can do that. push command K just so you can see what I'm doing here obviously we're gonna have to quantize that as well quantize if you want to say it properly and I'm gonna use the same metrics man this is at uh, 1 over 16 swing D. So now what I hear um, as I'm listening to this is I hear like some type of uh, saxophone. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and turn this into like a final audio. 
and just do like that. But I'm hearing like a saxophone. So what we could do is just come right back on over here and uh, we can, you know, click off of this distorted. And we can actually go to the instrument right here and see if we can get the saxophone in here. I don't even see it for some reason. But I'm sure like once we click there, where's the saxophone, yo? So this is another way you could do this. If you don't see uh, what you're looking for, you can just go to search and just say sax. And now um, all the saxophone stuff should come up. <laughs> So this is actually perfect. I'm gonna take this and throw it like that, throw it in here. And the key to this is now taking it and pitching it to match the pitch of what we got here. All right, cool. So I just held down the option and then pushed up and that pitched it up a semitone. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one knob uh, louder plug in on here and just push that up for that sample. saturator joint is pretty dope um you know what i'm saying so i just added that on here too and added a little flavor i push command j to join this one here and we pretty much we got a a, a beat here now i do want to add like a little bass guitar and i think i want to do is play that manually um we could do that a couple of different ways i could come over here actually and just type in bass All right, and then we can find a bass that we like that you know that will sound good, and then we can just sample that bass. And two, we can still come over here and under genre go to jazz, and now that pulls up all the jazz basses. show you what we do we'll take that and scroll it over here and put it in a quick sampler and then what i can do is go to classic mode and just zoom in and grab the end or the tail end of one of these uh bass licks and that would be one of our bases and see how i'm able to do that is i'm looking at the transients all right and what the transients are, are these little peaks in the audio if you look right there they're like there and i can kind of just visually see okay that's probably the start of a you know what i'm saying um new sound so we'll take this put that right there put a little fade on it and now i have a bass guitar all right and then just so you can see what i'm doing here We'll go ahead and again press musical typing command K. Again, I'm using the MIDI keyboard. Cool. So now that we have that going, next thing I want to do is come over here to the mixing window, and I'm just actually going to turn every day everything down a little bit. Why, why would I want to turn it down? Basically, um, just so I can hear, clearly hear this bass. And then I'm going to match it up and just figure out what the temp, what not the tempo, but the um, key is. And the simple way to do that is just literally start, slide at C, and just keep on going up the keyboard half steps until you find that first root note. see that 
but that's an F sharp. So that's what we're going to be going with. And I can also come over here and add some plugins on this to make it pop as well. So we'll do this uh, louder plugin. And I like that saturation, so we're going to keep on using that. I'm going to go to this Abbey Road saturator. And we'll actually probably look for like something that this actually goes with bass. Let me see. So that's probably good. And I'm just gonna turn this like right there. All right, again, so we know we're, we're on F sharp. And I can keep this uh, like a simple play. I'm gonna pretty much like uh, practice doing it and then we'll lay it down. So literally what we're going to be doing is playing D and F sharp. And um, what we're going to do to alternate this is this basically come here, workspace window, push command A to highlight everything, and then push command R. And that's going to double it out. So instead of a four bar loop, we're going to now turn this into an eight bar loop. And then we'll add variation with the uh, bass. Okay, so then we're gonna highlight everything, command A, and then I'm gonna use the same um, quantized met metric. And I think that this actually should be two hits right here, so I'll take this and copy it, command C. Push enter to move the playhead to the beginning, and then push command V. So now that we have our beat um, or base, the, the basic elements of it, now it's time to clean it up. I'm just going to come through here, push Command J to join these, make it a complete eight bar loop. And then I'm also going to go ahead and get rid of these other piano sounds and stuff that I don't need. And then we're going to just name everything, okay? I'll move this up. This is going to be my kick. Uh, it's going to be my snare. It's going to be my hat. Um, this is like this is a piano sample. We got a bass and then we got a sax. Now, keep in mind here if you really look at everything, um, 
I only have six tracks. So you want to keep things simple when it comes to, you know, making beats in general, but with this boom bap beat for show. Sure. Obviously there's gonna be some other elements that I can add in here, crash symbols, um, you know, open hi hats, different things like that, maybe even another some other piano stuff. But in the next video, that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see me continue to build this out um, and everything like that. I'm gonna leave you one last tip right here. If you push um, in the workspace window, Command A to highlight everything. If you push Shift Option and the letter N as in Nancy, what you name right here will go over here. So bam, got all everything ready to go. like this make sure that you subscribe to the channel especially if you're brand new also make sure to go to my website beatmakingbasics.com okay we do have full video courses each course has at least five to 15 hours of content okay and this is exclusive content you want me to you know break down everything um just check that stuff out we got loot packs drum kits templates everything you need to go to the next level as a producer right it's there on that site especially if you're a beginner. Also, make sure that you check out the links in the description below so because I have some of my favorite plugins that you can get access to. Check those out as well. Um, but yeah, man, without further ado, we're going to end the video. Appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you in the next one. We're out.